Chris, to celebrate uh, you reaching the milestone of scoring 100 goals for Partick Thistle and counting, we asked Jags fans to send in their best questions for you, hashtag AskDuels, and we have some of the best ones on hand to ask you today. So we'll start with a question from Tommy Healy. Uh, Chris, how did it feel to score four goals in one match against Hamilton in 2015, and which of the four was your favourite? Um, it was unbelievable, to be honest. That's one of the most memorable nights of my career so far. Um, simply because you know I've actually never scored a hat trick. I've scored loads and loads of doubles, and then I jumped to four, and in professional football. Um, so it was kind of strange that when I scored the hat trick that night, I thought it's great to make a hat trick, but then all of a sudden, within two minutes, I scored another one. So it was kind of unbelievable that I was waiting for a hat trick, and all of a sudden, I scored four. And I probably should have scored five because I had a volley right at the end, the hit right at the goalie and the goalie saved. Um, it was one of those nights that everything flew in. Um, of the four, I, I would say there's some typical goals from me. That the turn and finish is pretty typical, um, which is the second goal. But I think the back heel, which, which is the third to make the hat trick, was something, you know, it's, it's different. It's out of the ordinary. It's, um, it's not the kind of goal that a lot of people score or, or I score regular, but... Like I say, that's one that to cap off a, a hat trick with a, a back heel, a bit cheeky, but you know it, it's one that um, will live me forever. Next question is from Jags fan Gordon Hanna. Who's the best defender you've ever played against? Um, the best one's probably Virgil Van Dijk. Um, before he left, he was at Celtic. Before he left to go down south, um, you know he was basically a back four himself. He was unbelievable. Um, he had everything, you can see why he's playing in the in the English Premiership, he had power, pace, strength. He could score goals from defence, he was come forward with the ball, um, but you know, you, you didn't get much out of him. Um, I just think it, that's why Celtic at that time were, were so good defensively, they didn't lose many goals that season. Um, I think I was lucky enough to actually score against them out here that, that season. Um, they hadn't conceded many goals, Foster hadn't conceded many. Um, but I managed to get one which we thought was the equaliser, but they went up the part and scored. Um, but yeah, I would say he was probably the best of, of all that, that I can think of. Next question is from Alison McGee. Do you have a pre-game ritual? I do, yeah. Um, probably pretty strange ones, to be honest. Um, my my pre-game ritual probably starts on a Friday, to be honest. Um, after training, when I go home, I don't leave the house. I literally go home for training and as soon as I'm home, I shut the door and that's me in until, until I come to the game on Saturday. Perfect. I make sure, that, during the week, I make sure everything's done that, that we need done so that once I'm home on a Friday, I, I literally can relax. I can have dinner, you know, I can, I can chill out because I know that next time I leave the house, I'm going to the game. Um, on a Saturday, pretty much every, every game day is pretty similar for me because I, have the sa I do the same things at the same time. Um, and I think it's all about keeping yourself relaxed. That's that's what makes me relaxed. Being around the house, you know, and, and when I get up, I get up at the same time every every Saturday. If I wake up early, I'll just stay in my bed until that specific time, and then I'll get up, um, have the same breakfast, you know, and and everything's done at a similar time because I know for for me personally, that's what what makes me feel the best, uh, and also what. Keeps me, like I say, keeps me relaxed because by the time I go on the pitch, I know I've done everything the same way I do every every single week. So then, if I go out and have a rubbish game, it's just that I've had a rubbish game, and it's easier for me to work out what's went wrong than blaming something at, at home. You know, you were out, you were up all night, or you were this, or you were that. I literally go home, and once I'm home, I can relax so that when I come on the pitch, all I have to think about is scoring goals. From David Little, this question is, what is your favourite pre-match meal? Um, that's another probably strange answer coming. Um, I wouldn't say it was my favourite pre-match meal, but like I said, I eat quite, I do everything but pretty regimental on a, on a match day. I always eat boiled eggs and toast, but I hate eggs. <laughs> so it's, it's probably bizarre, but the only reason I have it, I'm not eating it to enjoy it. I'm eating it because I know that's what, works best for me. It's light enough in my stomach so it's not going to, it's not making me feel bagged up, it's not making me feel unwell, you know, it, it's light enough but I know I'm getting enough protein, enough carbs, blah blah blah. So that's what I eat every single pre
pre-match. But like I said, it's, I don't actually enjoy it. I wolf it down as quick as I can because I hate it. But I eat it because I know that's what's best for me. And fellow Jags fan Ali Kerr asks, what is your lowest moment as a Thistle player? Something that you took a while to get over? That's a good question. Um, to be honest, it, I missed a chance out at Farhill against Hibs. We played Hibs at home and um, I was clean through from the halfway line. Just me and the goalie and you know, nine times out of ten I would back myself to score. Um, on the, on the, I should have chipped him and at the last minute I decided not to and the chance was gone and Hibs went up the park and scored and they won the game 1-0. Um, and I think the reason that it, it took me a lot of time to get over it was I had an, we had an international break straight after that game. So I now had two weeks that I had to wait to get another game to, to try and put that right. And normally, you know, every day we all miss chances. Every day, and it, I can, I've missed loads of chances, I've scored plenty. I can brush it off easily. But that one, the fact they went up the park and scored and we lost the game. And at that time in the season, it was a big game. It really got to me. Um, but the good thing that came off the back of that was after the, the international break, we were away at Inverness and I scored twice at Inverness and we won the game 2-1. So we came down the road and all for, all's forgotten because uh, you go and put it right. We then went back to Easter Road twice and I chipped the goalie twice. I went for the halfway line and I, and I took the ball and from then on I knew I was going to chip him because I should have done that at home. And um, that's exactly what I've done at Easter Road and I've done it twice.